All right, so um, you've marketed your services, you've um, followed up on all of your leads, and you um, have finally gotten some yeses, some clients that are ready to move forward and become paying customers. Yay, congratulations, you've done it. Um, okay, so prior, you've already watched the video of how I use ClickUp to follow up on my leads. So you should have a board, um, already set up that looks something very similar to this. Um, what we're going to do is imagine here that I am on my um, client follow or my lead follow up board. What we want to look at is, so let's say Jane has decided that she is ready to um, move from being a lead to a paying client. What does that look like? When you are on the previous board, your leads to clients board, you're going to select um, her name so that it's uh, if you're looking at the board view it's clicking there if you are let me get rid of this if you are on the list view that looks like selecting here and then you're going to look at this black bar at the top and you want to find the one that looks like a piece of paper with an arrow and when you hover over that it'll say move tasks or add tasks in multiple list. So what we want to do is click on this and then you just want to scroll down and you are going to add this to your client onboarding list, which is this template that we have here. So what will happen is all of that information that you previously had set up from all of your calls and your contact information for Jane will be moved over to your client onboarding ClickUp uh, page. And if we look here, it will move her to ready to onboard which means she's ready to become a paying client. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna move her over here and go, and that way I know she needs to have a contract sent to her and signed. So we've already covered some ways to do contracts. You can go back in the modules and look at that. Um, but essentially, um, however you wanna do a contract, you need to get her a contract, she needs to sign it. Once she signed the contract, um, you're going to drag it over, drag her name over to initial invoice. So this is a reminder for you that like she is in the invoicing stage. However, you've decided that you would like to do invoicing, whether you're going to use wave app or, you know, QuickBooks, whatever that looks like, um, that's up to you. But this system will remind you that, Hey, uh, she signed her contract. I need to send her an invoice. So it's just quick at a glance. Where's Jane at? Um, and so you can send that there. And then you're going to wait until she has paid that initial invoice. And then you're going to slide her over here into the welcome email. So after she's paid her contract, she or one, after she signed her contract and after she's paid her initial invoice, um, what you're going to do is um, send her an email and I'll put together templates and all of that for things that you can copy and paste. Um, but you're going to send her basically a welcome to my you know client family here's what you can expect this could include like what your expected um, availability looks like for communication um, any contact information that you might want to give your clients but you're going to send her that email if you want to put any other things in a packet through canva this would be the time to go ahead and plan that out and do that um, once you've sent her emailed her the um, welcome packet, you're going to slide her over here to the kickoff call because in that welcome email, you're going to have a link to your Calendly calendar, calendar or whatever calendar that you're using to book calls. And now you're just going to wait here until she has booked her kickoff call. And I'll go into detail in another module about what a kickoff call would look like. Um, but now she's going to hold here until she has booked that and you have actually held the kickoff call with Jane. And like I said, that's going to be a, a time to establish, you know, getting you all of your login credentials for anything you might need, establishing um, how you want to handle task handoff, task follow up, all of that kind of stuff. So let's say she's um, clicked on the link through the welcome packet and she has booked her call, you have held the call. And now um, I'm gonna move over here to task management system. So let's say this might not be applicable to every client or every type of package that you're gonna offer, but let's say you're a general admin VA and you have a client that um, has bought a certain number of hours for the month and it's at their discretion to hand off tasks for, to you. What you would wanna do is establish how that is going to take place. And if let's say you are going to be 
add them as a member in your ClickUp and give them their own board, which would be a fantastic idea. Um, you'll want to establish that, set that up at this time. So they've already paid their invoice, they've signed their contract, you've had the kickoff call, you know what to expect, or um, the task management could be, let's say they already have a task system set up, you know, maybe it's the reverse, they need to add you into it. It's however you are going to be working with your clients. Um, and so once you have all of these steps um, taken care of, you've established everything and set them up with a task system, and you will then move them over to um, onboarding complete. And you know that she's ready to roll, you're ready to get to work, you have everything that you could possibly need from the client and you've given her or him as much information as they're going to need and you're ready to get to work. All right, let me know if you have any questions.